Look what I got for the babies. Best foster mom ever. Hey guys, it is Friday here on the Tea Vapes channel and today I'm back with another vape vlog. So first things first, my e-liquid of the week goes to the Pina Colada flavor by Vape Monkey. Now I've tried a lot of Pina Colada flavors before and this Vape Monkey flavor is really, really good. It's really super realistic. Just quality e-liquid, quality packaging, quality company. I am all around impressed. Alright, so I wanted to show you guys some fan mail I got this week, I actually got this last Friday, but I got it after I had already filmed the video. But it was a late belated birthday present by Jess, and she lives in Australia, and for those of you who don't know, I live in Washington State in America. So that's really far away, and she sent me this iPad cover. I had gotten this iPad for my birthday and I showed it in a video and she wanted to send me this and it came with headphones and a stylus and I just I love it it is kitties and like that's just me I mean come on guys so thank you so much Jess I love 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 it she also sent me a birthday card with kittens on it and also I wanted to share with you another thing that I got from Whitney hi Whitney thank you so much she got me this ring isn't it cute I'm just gonna wear it right now which blingy rainbow octopus and this little bow tie clip along with two letters which I will be saving. She also drew this and this and she also drew me when I had my pink ombre hair and I love it and she added tattoos to me because I can't get any more tattoos of my own. Alright so before I go through my social medias and look at people's comments and questions I just wanted to answer like three main questions that I get. Number one question that I get is about mech mods and RDAs and if I'm going to do them and some of you know that I am going to do them. I have a mech, I actually have two RDAs, one <clears throat> one mech mod and I can assure you guys I have them. They are just in line for review. Here is a sneak peek of the RDA and here's a sneak peek for the mech. So there, I have them, I promise you guys. It's just not time yet. All right, the second question I get asked the most is, where did I get this dripper? This blue part is the dripper. This is what I use for flavor testing. This silver part is a drip tip. It's a really long drip tip. Now I get asked where I get the drip tip. I don't know where this one came from. It was a gift to me sent by a fan, but I will link below, right below, where you can go and check out other long types of dip, drip tips. And then for the dripper, I've had a link under my videos for a really long time now where you can get this, but people aren't being able to find it. You just go to that link and search 510 dripping atomizer. But as far as I know, they are still out of stock because when I first released the link, you guys went and bought them up. And so you'll have to wait if you're still trying to get one of these or you can just google 510 dripping atomizer it's a direct dripping atomizer and so links below to both of these and just search 510 dripping atomizer and yes my mvp is charging my cell phone <laughs> right now so i usually use my mophie but my mophie is dead so i'm using my mvp and the next biggest question that I've been getting in the last week is about my foster kittens. Yes, I am fostering three baby kittens. They were a little over five weeks old when I got them, and I am taking care of them until next Saturday, so I only have one more week for it with them. Um, but they are just basically, they don't have room or time, they just are overflowed with kittens at the Humane Society, and I signed up to foster them until they are ready to be spayed or neutered. But they are doing great, and they are actually playing around right here, so I have to, hey, make sure that they don't get my cord. All right, let's take it over to Twitter, where Ryan asks, what's my all-time favorite vape setup? And just hands down, it is the MVP version 2 with the Aspire Nautilus Mini. It was the MVP version 2 with the regular Spire, but now it's the Spire Mini because one, you know, it's, it looks better, and two, the coils are better. Yes, you can put the coils from the Mini, the bottom vertical coils, in, into the big one, but I still like that this one is just a little bit smaller, doesn't stick out, you know, how the big Nautilus does. 
Vaporhound5 is asking about my experience with local vape shops, brick and mortar shops, and there I believe is three in my town, but I only go to one. I've been to two of them. One I really, really love, and I've done videos from there, and the other one, um, I first went in and they just opened, like they're brand new. But the lady wasn't very nice to me, and she wasn't a vapor. I think so she didn't really know what like when I went in there and asked questions she didn't really know how to answer anything but the other one that I go to shout out to vapors you guys are awesome I love that shop this Lilu is having troubles quitting smoking she said she's been vaping for six months at an 18 nicotine level and she needs help so, okay if you vape and don't fully quit it took me at least four months of vaping and smoking to finally make the transition all the way over to just vaping and even then like I'd vape for maybe like five days straight and then go out drinking and someone would have a cigarette and I'd take a puff um, so basically I say it took at least four months but it was more than four months before I was able to completely just be vaping Samuel R. wants me to talk about making your own e-liquid. Well, I would never do it personally. I am not a scientist, I am not a chemist, and I want to leave that up to the people who know what they're doing and have those big fancy labs for making the e-liquid. All right, let's take it over to Facebook. God, I am just loving this mini. I've almost vaped, I filled this up last night and I've almost gone through it. I just, the flavor, the vapor, the throat hit, everything. So I asked you guys on Facebook what you want to talk about today, and Seth Michael, good available beginner setups that are available now and are fairly cheap. So I'll link below. I believe the EVOD or EGO style batteries are excellent. I think everyone starts with those. At least most, probably most people start with those EVODs or EGO type batteries, and I just think those are great for people who like this is too intimidating for. Like when I started vaping, this was way too intimidating for me, but this was the mod that finally got me completely off cigarettes. Benny Cooper asks, how's my mom and her two friends that I helped get introduced into the vaping world? My mom is doing great. She loves her vapes and we share vapes flavors, like we trade flavors back and forth. Um, as for her two friends, not so good. Uh, it is, I find it's a lot harder to persuade people who have been smoking for a long, long time to try vaping and to really, you know, commit to it. Whereas younger people like myself, I only smoked cigarettes for six years. So it was a lot easier for me, I feel, to get rid, to change that habit than somebody who has been set in their ways for 35 plus years. Jess wants to know what would be my first tip to people starting their own YouTube vaping channel. And I would have to say definitely put up as much content as you can and definitely try to involve your audience. Michael Hodgson is asking how the fires are doing and I forgot to mention that earlier. That's why we're inside today instead of outside. So after the rain, the fire that really helped with the big fires around here, but then they rekindled and so the fires are back and it's actually really smoky outside right now as I look out the windows and um, I don't want to be out there. It's miserable. But as far as my house, I'm pretty much out of harm's way as of now. I think Urban wants to know where to order Cape Fear Juice because the link that I put there is only to their website and they actually don't sell directly from their website so I will link below to where you can purchase Cape Fear Juice. Anna Woosley wants to know if I order any juices after reviewing them and I do. I do. The ones that I really fall in love with like Cape Fear Juice Company and G2, Niquid, Virgin Vapor. All right, here's a sneak peek. I posted a picture of Instagram on this, and I know all you guys were dying to see what was inside the box. Woo! Premium shit. I'll be in next week's review. Over on Instagram, Jess OK asked if Zambal Box liquids need to be steeped, and some companies pre-steep their juices, some don't. I just choose to steep juice for my own amount of time, no matter if the company says it's ready to go or not. And sorry, Loud Vibes, I don't think I will be reviewing the Sample Box box mod. All right, now it's time for my weekly obsession. My weekly obsession is this. Oh my god, could you have guessed? It's the Aspire Nautilus Mini. It is my obsession. These bottom vertical coils are my obsession. I felt like 
Before this tank came along, I vaped a lot. I really, I vape pretty much all day. It helps with my cravings. And then when I got this, I have literally not been able to put it down. I have vaped so much in the last couple days. You don't have the Aspire Nautilus, the original, or the mini. At least get the mini and try it out. If you already have the Aspire Nautilus original and don't want to buy a whole nother tank, buy the bottom vertical coils. They are worth it. I will put a link below. Alright, let's take it over to YouTube. I'm getting a lot of questions about what my opinion is on teenagers vaping if it keeps them off cigarettes. Um, I wouldn't want anyone to smoke cigarettes, but vaping and smoking and drinking and things like that have their age limits for a reason. So Uber Epic Rift asks if I've ever used Fusion Vapor e-liquid. And no, I have not, but I might. Maricela asks, do you feel like you will be doing the variable voltage and variable wattage with normal tanks for a long time or are you planning to get getting into mechs and rebuildables? And the answer is yes, I am going to stay with variable voltage, variable wattage devices and regular tanks and mass produced things like that. But I'm also going to dabble a little in with the rebuildables. But no, I'm going to stay mostly where people would be the beginning of vaping. Like, I want to help smokers make the switch. Right, so really quickly, I was asked to talk about my ear infection, because if you follow me on Twitter, it's all I've been complaining about. I have a double ear infection from swimming. I'm really prone to ear infections. I pretty much get them every summer when I swim, because I swim so much. And, um, basically, it's just both my ears are infected, and I have to use eardrops. And my whole jawline, like, right here, is it really hurts, and it's really stiff, and, I, and it hurts to yawn. Or like, It is really hot in this room, and that's it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed. Please stay to my channel for more reviews. Subscribe if you like what you see. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. <laughs> he doesn't like the camera.